Hi, second grade. Today is Thursday, April 30th, which means it is the last day of April. It's also your last day of distance learning for this week. And I know that's a little bit of a change, but it is a change because our governor, Governor Tim Walls, the governor of Minnesota, has recognized that we need to continue distance learning for four more weeks. And you probably know that already. But to get ready for the next four weeks, Nevlin and all the other schools across Minnesota need a little bit of time to get materials together and to get everything ready for you so that we can continue to make distance learning as good as it can be. So because of that, you will not have distance learning tomorrow on Friday, and you also will not have it on Monday. So my next video to you will be next week on Tuesday. And so we are going to work very hard for the next few days getting everything ready for you because we want to give you some good quality things to do for the rest of the school year. It breaks my heart that we can't be together and I miss you so much. And we can't replace the time that we don't get to have together for the rest of the school year, but we can take the time that we do have through distance learning and make it as good as it can be. So I'm going to work hard to plan some good lessons for you that I think you will like, and then you get a break for a few days and we will work hard together for the next four weeks. And because distance learning is continuing, that means that we need to do another parent pickup. And that will be on Monday. And your parents should know about this. They were told uh, through emails through the portal. And I sent them a remind message so they are aware of it. But you could remind your parents to come to Nevlin on Monday between 11 o'clock and 3.30 and pick up your supplies for distance learning. They will pick up some other things as well. They will also come up and to, they will also come to school and they will pick up anything that is yours that was still in your locker um, and some things from your desk like some of your books and your school box and your other school supplies. So Monday is a very important day. It's the last pickup and so please make sure your parents are aware of that. And the pickup for second grade will take place on the south side of Nevlin. And the south side of Nevlin is where you see the teachers park in the morning when they come to school. So think of where those cars are usually parked. And that's the side that your parents should come to to pick up your supplies for distance learning and the rest of your items that you own, like your gym shoes and things that were still left at school. So because that's a change, that changes our lessons just a little bit. So I want to talk to you about the matrix. So get out your matrix, please. And you will see that for reading today, you are to do page 11 in your reading packet. It says you will need to reread to find the animal facts. Now remember those bold words throughout the book that told all those facts about animals? You're going to need to go through the pages and find those bold words to help you to do page 11. And you are going to write a fact about each animal that is listed on page 11 in your reading packet. And I have also made a seesaw activity for you to go with this. So be sure to go to your seesaw journal and find Lions at Lunchtime 4-30 find that activity, it will match page 11, and then you can take a picture of your work, you can record yourself reading the facts that you found. This could be fun, having a good, fun fact search. Now, if you look at the matrix for tomorrow, because there is no distance learning, instead of this being a must-do, it is now a may-do. And I think you might want to do this. It is page 12 on your reading packet, and it asks you to design a new cover for Lions at Lunchtime. So pretend you are the illustrator and Mary Pope Osborne came to you and said, I've written this great book, but it needs a cover. Please illustrate the cover. So when you do that, you should draw with pencil first and then color your cover. And if you do that, I would love for you to go to your Seesaw Journal, click the plus, take a picture of it, 
and, of your drawing and you could tell me all about it and why you chose to draw what you chose and I would love to see that but like I said tomorrow is a day free for you free from distance learning so if you don't want to do this you don't have to it's not a must do but I would love to see if you do that please show me your work and if you look at the math part of our must do's for Thursday and Friday I'm going to make this really easy for you if you go and get your math packet we are going to do the work in both of these squares today so there will be no math for you to have to do tomorrow so like I said no distance learning on Friday or Monday my next video will be on Tuesday and make sure on Monday your parents go to school between 11 o'clock and 3 30 and pick up everything that is needed for the next four weeks of distance learning so go get your math packet now and we'll do some math together okay second grade so our math section is going to be a little bit longer today because we are going to do math for both Thursday and Friday so that you can have tomorrow as a day off so the first thing I would like to do is have you look at your answers from yesterday on page 569 here's how the first line plot should look and number four remember to try to make the X's all about the same size so you can see right here there are three X's above four and three above six so they should come to about the same height to represent the data correctly now on the back side LES 10 classmates how many glasses of water they drank each day and she's showing her data here everyone else said six if you counted the votes you already had you would see that you needed to put two X's above six number seven Sydney asks 15 friends how many times they exercise each week remember I told you to do um, five people said two times and do that first and that you knew four people said four times then if you add those up you know six more votes are needed to get to 15 so you have to put three above number one and three above number three and here's the answer for the right math question can you use a line plot to show data about favorite color and the answer is no because you can only use a line plot to show data about how often numbers occur in your data so the line plot is always about how often numbers occur in your data so in that case you could not use a line plot so let's go on we're going to work on analyzing line plots remember the essential question how can I record and analyze data oh doesn't that Sunday look good mm, looks like a banana split so we are going to pretend that I'm asking 10 people how many times they eat dessert each week and we're going to use the data to make a line plot and answer the question so let's pretend I asked Anthony I think Anthony loves dessert and he wants it every day so that would be seven times a week for Anthony Adrian has dessert five times a week so everyone put an X right above the five Logan oh Logan Logan has dessert six times a week he takes one day away from having dessert each week Helku she has dessert three times a week Zadie she has dessert five times a week Heath Heath has dessert six times a week and when he's with his grandpa and grandma I bet he gets an extra cookie or two Oliver 
has dessert five times a week. So you can see the data starting to grow. And we have seven students surveyed so far. So three more. Zeta has dessert four times a week. Bensley has dessert five times a week. And Alex also has dessert five times a week. That's a lot of dessert, isn't it? But it's fun to have a treat once in a while. So how many times a week do most people eat dessert? You can clearly see the number of times that most people eat dessert is five. So let's go on to the back and we'll just work together today. You can use data from a line plot to answer questions. This line plot shows the number of students in each class at a school. So how many students are in most of the classes? You can see the number with the most X's is 21. Use the data from the line plot to answer the question. So we're going to look at this line plot, number of hats. The first question is how many students have two hats? So you look above two hats and you see, can you count that? I'll write your answer. And I will go over the answer. Did you get it written? You should have written six. The next question is, how many students have just one hat? I'll give you time to write your answer. This is just like in school, when I don't want you to just wait for me to put the answer. You have to try yourself first. You should have put three. Number three, how many students have three hats? Put your answer. The answer is four. Now think how easy this is compared to the math we were doing a few months ago when we had to ungroup and we were subtracting three digit numbers. Whew. You came so far in your math this year, second grade. I'm so proud of you. But this analyzing data is a little easier, isn't it? How many students have more than two hats? So what numbers would be more than two? These three numbers would be more than two. So count the X's, write your answer. You should have put seven. And here's your talk math question. How are line plots the same or different than bar graphs or picture graphs? I think the main thing for you to recognize is that the line plots only can show data about how often numbers occur in data. So that's the big way that they are different. Okay, please find page 575. Instead of you doing this on your own, we're going to work together and give you tomorrow off. So let's study our line plot. The title is Number of Vegetables. And here's your data. Number five. Which number has the most X's? Go ahead and write your answer. That one's easy to see. You should put four. Number six. How many students like four vegetables? Count the X's. You should put a six. Number seven, which number has the fewest X's? Write your answer before me. You should have written zero. Number eight, how many students like two vegetables? Write your answer. Your answer is three. 
Number nine, how many students were surveyed in all? I'll give you time to look up here and figure out the total number of students surveyed. You should have written 24 because there are 24 X's all together. Next, how many students like more than one vegetable? So in that case, you have to count all the X's that are more than one. You can't count the one. More than one. Here's how I would do this. I know the total is 24. I would subtract 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 24 minus 5. You should have written 19. How many students do not like vegetables? Can you figure that one out? It would be one, because only one student answered zero for the number of vegetables. Flip that over to the back. We're moving right along. Finish the line plot for Ashley. She needs to show that three friends each have two toy bears. So can you make X's where they should go? Three friends each have two toy bears. And here's what you should have done. An X above the two, another X above the two, and you want them the same size so that they match up. So when there's three here, it should be even with the same height as the three above the four. Time for a brain builder. Okay, Smarties. 23 students created this line plot to show how many fruits each student likes. Six students like the same number of fruit. How many fruits does each of those six students like? 23 students created this line plot to show how many fruits each student likes. Six students like the same number of fruit. How many fruits does each of those six students like? So I want you to think about that. And did you figure out the answer is four? Four fruits that those six students like. And the right math. Colton looks at the line plot above and says, one student likes three fruits. Tell why he is wrong. Okay, and he's wrong because the three X's above number one mean that three people like one fruit, not one person likes three fruits. So let's just talk about that. You don't even have to write this down. So he says one student likes three fruits. But he's not correct because what it's really saying is that three people said, I like one fruit, I like one fruit, I like one fruit. So you have to be careful how you read the line plot. So this actually means that there were six people who said, I like four different fruits. So, it looks like we have completed, let me check on the matrix, it looks like we have completed all the way through 5 through 12, it says do the brain builder and write math if you wish, and we even did that too. So you are all done with math for the week. 
Please enjoy taking four days off of distance learning. You have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday off. And tune into my video on Tuesday morning, May 5th. Take care. Bye.